Hello everyone. Welcome back to Fear No Maths, a series started by Flobo to help students overcome the fear of maths. Last time, you saw how this fear was actually emotional and not an intellectual issue. In fact, the major issue with maths are in the problems, but the anticipation of solving these problems. When people say they hate maths, it's not the maths that they hate, but the fact that they don't know it. According to scientists, maths anxiety actually leads to an increased activity in the fear centers of the brain that reduces the activity in the numerical portions of the brain. It's simply the same type of fear that people have with snakes or spiders or even heights. The battle with maths exams for many of us is not lost during giving the paper, but before entering the exam hall itself. Now, guess what is the first step to overcome any fear? The first thing that you need to do is to acknowledge it that there is actually a problem here. After acknowledging it is when you can try to take steps and attack the fear. It is not some dirty little secret that you need to hide from everyone. You need to develop a positive mindset, a growth mindset. A growth mindset tells you that it is okay to not understand. It's okay to make mistakes. Trust me, the more number of mistakes you make while solving a problem, the longer you actually remember the concepts. And the eureka moment that you get when you actually solve it, it can actually last a lifetime. Tip number two would be to get connected with a good teacher. One who doesn't just teach and guide you, but motivates you as well. Even if you're not able to find someone, there are still innumerable resources online. Just say to yourself that I want to improve and you'll be able to find a way. Even we, as part of this series, will try to refer the best sources and put everything in a structure so that this can be a single source that you can refer to. But hey, that doesn't mean that you need to wait for someone to complete it, right? The third tip and one we often see many students doing is to stop reading your maths textbooks like a novel. Use a notebook and a pen or a pencil, whichever you're comfortable with and start practicing the problems present in the textbooks one by one. Many of the students having maths anxiety face trouble with understanding the problem or finding patterns within the problem. This gets aggravated or increased when you just read your maths textbooks. Writing things down will help make it more structured. The fourth tip I would like to give to all of you is extremely important. Wanna guess what it is? It's do your freaking homework. I know what you all are thinking. What a useless tip. Who doesn't ask you to do your homework? But trust me, consistency and discipline can help you break even mountains. In short, don't be afraid to do your homework and don't procrastinate. Remember, the more you sweat in training, the less you bleed in battle. Again, I'm sure most of you higher class students will have concerns like health. I can't even do simple maths properly. How the hell am I supposed to solve my textbook questions? You have problems in basic division or maybe understanding fractions itself. You feel as if you're years behind and don't have a solid foundation. Well, to get back on track, I'm afraid there are no easy answers. Few things that you could probably try from today is to try reverse engineering. Pick up a simple problem from your book and try and learn all the small little nitty gritties that you might need to get your foundations right. Or even better, keep a list of all the things you might need to complete to get your foundations right and work, work, work on it. For example, in your 10th class, you might need to know all these topics to really get a hold of whatever you're currently studying. You can choose your earlier class textbooks or use online resources on YouTube or even our Flowbook app to get these built up as fast as possible. Maths, as we discussed earlier, is like a universal language and just like any language where we took time to learn the ABCs to even make sense of the millions of words that we use today, similarly, take your time. Tip number 5. Remember, the most powerful question any learner of maths can ask is why. Keep asking why multiple times till you gain complete clarity on the topics. In the end, you need to work on making maths as interesting as possible for you. Try and connect mathematical applications with reality. Maybe use pictures and graphs to understand the ideas and gain confidence in the theories and concepts. Even our endeavor will be to discuss various mathematical concepts in interesting ways, mostly using various visualizations to see different concepts in a new light. Throughout this series, we'll try to answer the whys of every topic and hopefully inculcate the same habit within you of asking why for every topic till it gets ingrained in your memory. 
there is a famous proverb that says the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago and guess when the second best time is it's nothing but today so like share and subscribe to this channel today and join us on this journey of beating your fear of maths till next time happy learning